If you're in the market for a TV or a monitor, you probably know that stores will try to sell you on how more is better. Bigger screens, higher resolutions, and increasingly, more brightness. Indeed, Apple has recently announced an absurdly expensive $5,000 display and is touting the fact that it has 1,600 nits of peak brightness. But why does brightness matter so much, and what the heck is a nit anyway? Well, if you've ever tried to use a phone in direct sunlight where the screen couldn't get bright enough, then you know that having sufficient brightness is incredibly important if you want to make out details on the screen. Even if you're lying in the dark with your phone, turning the brightness all the way down to minimum can cause certain screen elements to be much harder to see than they would be if you turned up the brightness just a small amount. But at the same time, why is brightness suddenly such a hot selling point now? Like you probably don't have very many problems making out what's happening on your run of the mill TV set or monitor that you got a Black Friday. So what's going on? Well, as visual fidelity has increased on our displays, manufacturers have sought other ways to enhance the viewing experience than simply cramming more pixels onto the screen or making your TVs and monitors bigger. And recently, displays with high dynamic range, or HDR, have promised notably better detail than devices without it. You can learn more about HDR up here, but the basic idea is that HDR-capable displays attempt to show brighter brights and darker darks than standard displays. And HDR sets can also typically display a wider color gamut, all of which adds up to a crisper, more realistic image. But simply supporting an HDR protocol may not be enough for you to tell a huge difference in picture quality. In order to bring out those sharper details and richer colors that HDR screens promise, they need to be able to hit certain amounts of brightness. This is where those nits come in, which are a measure of brightness commonly used for electronic displays. Many average TVs and monitors can only get up to a few hundred nits peak brightness. But for HDR content, the general baseline is that you want your display to be able to hit 1000 nits at peak for true HDR. Now, 1000 nits is fairly bright, and you might even be uncomfortable with something that bright if you're sitting really close to your monitor, like if you're gaming, for example. But the idea is that an HDR TV worth its salt will only put out that much light in certain situations. That is, when there's an image on the screen that needs additional illumination because certain parts of it feature bright colors. So you probably won't need to worry about putting on a pair of sunglasses just to enjoy your shiny new HDR display. And the higher peak brightness, the more versatility the screen will have to accurately reproduce more types of visual content. In fact, Sony demonstrated a 10,000 nit prototype 8K TV at the Consumer Electronics Show in 2018, which by all accounts delivered fantastic looking results because of the huge variety of scenes it could faithfully display. And because under normal circumstances, your screen's only gonna get that bright on tiny areas or quick flashes, there's even been interest in going even higher, especially for settings like movie theaters. But how much is too much? I mean, Apple's pricey new monitor claims a 1000 nit typical brightness, meaning that's what you'll usually be exposed to, as opposed to it being a maximum that only activates when necessary. Well, the answer is it really depends on how you perceive the experience. If you're checking out a high-end display at your local big box store and it's so brilliant that your eyes feel uncomfortable, then of course you might want to pass on it. But I would say that there's nothing wrong with getting the highest net display that your eyes and your wallet can handle while making sure you're not spending way too much just to get the highest net count that you can get on the market today. As a thousand net peak brightness screen should look good enough to satisfy most people. And just in case you were wondering, the sun is about 1.6 billion nits. So definitely don't go that high, you'll hurt yourself. But where you should go is to FreshBooks. FreshBooks is the small business accounting software custom built for how you wanna work. FreshBooks is the simple way to be more productive, organized, and to get paid quickly. You can create and send professional looking invoices in fewer than 30 seconds, set up online payments with just a couple of clicks, and get paid up to four days faster. FreshBooks lets you see when your client has seen your invoice, so you can put an end to the guessing games. So go and get your unrestricted 30-day free trial at freshbooks.com slash techquickie and enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, like it, get subscribed, and make sure to hit us up in the comments with your own suggestions of topics that we should hit in the future.